as I'm setting off on day three. Campsite's still quiet. We got up at half five. One of our roomers is also getting up. He's on his way. the reward for the climb. Five miles to the cafe. I think it's going to be quite a big group by then. They fight for the scones. Okay. Cafes nearby, I have to admit. Completely out of juice. <laughs> Thank you, catch you out. <laughs> we ran, Lindsay's unfortunately ran out of hydraulic fluid. The um, there's been a leak somewhere in the master cylinder and we're having to, uh, we've stopped at a cafe and we're topping up the reservoir with some cooking oil. That'll probably do. So big thanks to the vegan cafe for providing us with some uh, cooking oil and uh, Lindsay's brakes are now full and we're going to see how we get on in the next descent rather her than me So how confident are you for the, first, the next hill? I'm happy The lady in the shop was a bit concerned that she was dishing out cooking oil to be used as someone's brakes so uh, she's, uh, we've been instructed to get it repaired as soon as possible yes, practically yeah, possible she's a little concerned for my safety Which is about 150k away <laughs> So there are a few hills between now and then so we have uh, we found a little old plastic bottle, we've got some um, cooking oil in it and a little bit of cardboard as a siphon uh, But check this out It's 
stunning, absolutely stunning, even in the rain. No, they just look more intimidating than normal cows, don't they? <laughs> They're so gentle natured though. With the size of them, you could be more intimidating. Just keep looking at them. So it's been a little while since our last update, a couple of reasons for that. Um, it has been really heavy rain all afternoon. Uh, we've got soaked through to the skin and we're just, I know it's all blue skies and sunshine just now, but uh, that's us drying out. And, uh, so we haven't had the camera out as much. But also, unfortunately, one of the uh, entrants in the rally had to uh, take a fall and it was a, a gentleman, Jim, who's come from all the way from Canada and as incredible uh, guy, He's actually 73 and he did uh, the Great Divide, I believe, when he was 70, only three years ago. And he's an absolute legend and it was really sad to, to see him have to go away today in an ambulance, but he will be okay. He's a uh, few bumps and bruises and a broken rib. Our thoughts are with Jim. Absolutely. Uh, but we, uh, we carried on with Steve, who he'd been riding with, a uh, real gent. And uh, we ended up in Oban and found a, a beautiful uh, restaurant didn't we? We just yes, chanced yeah. upon it and it uh, came up with good luck. So uh, then it was a, a case of just having a really quick look on Google Maps for the nearest campsite because we're just knackered and uh, we were just like some facilities and just things it's been a very long day. So we found a little campsite and it's right opposite the island of Kerrera which and is... I remember that island. <laughs> we've um, both got good memories of that yeah, island. Yeah we did a, an off-road triathlon here a few years ago and um, the swim um, was from the mainland here across to the island, mountain bike around the island um, and then run to the highest point and back down. Um, fantastic triathlon, the, the uh, Kerrera. Uh, well, no, it's called the Craggy Island Triathlon actually, although it is the island of Kerrera. Uh, as with the rest of the day, I think we're going to have a crane in our neck just from looking at amazing views and scapes out to one side. Uh, so we're going to close down for the night. It's been a 110k yeah, full of adventure. Weird. Not probably talking much sense now. <laughs> we've had <laughs> punctures. We've put olive oil in our brakes. We've done all sorts. Been one of those Let's days. See what tomorrow brings. Uh, wishing you well, Jim. <laughs> see you soon.